Hi there. In this short video, we're going to look at how we can view PDFs in a PHP-based web app. We're going to use PHP 8.1, Laravel 10, running on Ubuntu 22.04. I've also got the Packet Manager Composer installed, so I'm going to use Composer, Create Project, Laravel slash Laravel 10, Example App. This will scaffold a basic project and also install all the dependencies. Great, that's worked. Now let's navigate to our new folder and start the server using PHP Artisan Serve. Now this is just the default Laravel app, but it proves that our system is working correctly. We're now going to replace the contents of this page with our web viewer. Now we need to get the web viewer zip file. We can either get that using the browser and downloading that way, or using curl using the link that's in the comments below this video. This will take a few moments to install, so I speeded that up. And we can see that we have the web viewer present. Next, we need to unzip that into a folder called web viewer within the public folder of our project. I like Visual Studio Code, so I'm going to use code dot to start that IDE. And we can see within the public folder that our web viewer folder and its contents are now present. We don't need all of these files, but for this proof of concept, we'll leave them as they are. We're also going to reuse the welcome blade view, discarding all of its contents and replacing them with the code that's in the comments below this video. The important parts to see here are that we're creating a div with the ID viewer, and then we're instantiating a web viewer, passing in the ID of the element. OK, let's save that. And we'll restart the server. Now when we go to the website, we've got our PDF viewer. But it's actually much more than just a viewer. We can in fact edit this PDF, or add annotations, or shapes, fill and sign forms, and so on. If we want, we can also rotate pages, delete pages, or even insert new pages. We can also work with bookmarks and layers within the PDF. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.